Good morning. The purpose of this video today is going to be showing you guys this issue that uh, many of us are having with the Mavic about the uh, horizon being uh, level. It's not keeping level when you're flying sideways or some other people is just by panning around the uh, video tilts. Not for me. Uh, for me it's only when I'm flying sideways. I'll show you now in the video. Um, I have two issues with my Mavic. One is the uh, level uh, the uh, level horizon. The other one is the gimbal pan. Uh, when it's panning around, when it's flying, it's very stiff, it's very jerky, it's following the aircraft too much. Uh, it's like it's stuck on the aircraft, so as soon as I turn, the gimbal turns and it's, it stops on a dime and like it's, it's too, too jerky. So I'm going to be showing you guys uh, the two settings that they have uh, for it. Supposedly, the, uh, it's called the gimbal, the gimbal synchronous something. <laughs> it's called the gimbal synchronous follow. Um, I turn it on, I turn it off, I don't see a difference when flying and I'll show you a difference uh, when I'm holding the Mavic in my hand, how smooth it is. So I don't understand why it would do it by me holding it in the hand but now while flying doesn't make any sense at all. So we're gonna be doing right now the IMU calibration and uh, we're gonna be doing the compass calibration. So, cause I know many of you, the first thing you say is, oh, make sure you do the compass calibration. Oh, make sure you do the IMU calibration. I understand, I, I'm doing it. So let me show you guys. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, do an IMU calibration. So we're gonna turn on the remote. That's gonna pop up the, uh, DJI Go app. We're going to also turn on the Mavic. Alright, so that's going to pick up the uh, Mavic on the app. So it's telling me uh, the uh, Mavic is experiencing magnetic interference uh, because the arms are folded. We're gonna skip that. We're gonna go to menu. All the way down. Uh, no, actually, it's gonna be the Mavic, advanced settings, sensor state, and IMU calibration. Let's do that, and we're gonna hit start. So it's gonna ask us to leave it like that for a minute. So we're gonna leave it there. All right, so now it's asking us to put it on the side, like so. Now on the other side. Now standing up. And now laying on its back. All right, I'm IMU calibration is complete. So back to camera, and we're gonna do the uh, compass calibration outside. So let's do that. And uh, again, we're going to go to settings, we're going to go to the quad, uh, and we're going to calibrate compass. We're going to pick up the Mavic, and we're going to twist it. Bam. We're going to turn it on the side, and twist it one more time. Bam. All right. So all of that is done and uh, we're going to see how it goes. I'm going to change the uh, color settings. I had it in D-Log. Oh, 
no style, color, none. All right. We're gonna tap to focus. Alrighty, and let's take off. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So as you can see, the uh, Mavic is very stable. So it has no issues with uh, IMU calibrations. It has no issues with uh, compass calibration. It's rock steady, all right? So let's see what the issue is. All righty, as we can see right here, the uh, horizon is super straight, all right? It's very, very level. No issues there, and again, rock steady. I'm just leaving it. There's no wind at all. So now let's see when I just uh, start panning. Uh, what happens? That's the sun right there. That's why the overexposure is showing. And you can see that I'm doing it slowly and there's a very slight, not that much. It's fine. Okay, cool. Now let's do it a little bit harder. And it's staying pretty good. So I have no issues with that. Now my issue is this, when I start going sideways. There goes the horizon. Why is it tilting? Uh, let's do it the other way. There it goes again. Shouldn't be tilting like that. Alright. Now this is the other issue that I'm seeing. Why is the gimbal not smooth when I turn quickly like that? Why is it doing that? All right, so let's change this setting here on the gimbal. Sorry, the gimbal. And uh, some people are saying to use the gimbal pan synchronous follow. Uh, we have that on. It's not working. Let's turn it off and see what happens. still the same thing so that makes no difference at all so I don't know what it is supposed to do but for me it makes no difference at all it's not smooth so now I read somebody else saying oh you need to be recording all right let's try that let's try recording and no difference now we're gonna turn that off again Go to gimbal. We're gonna turn it back on. Sorry. No difference at all. Now that's when it's flying. When it's in your hand, it's a different story. Let's see. All right. So now I have the Mavic in my hand. Uh, let me increase the exposure here for a little bit. All right, cool. So now, if I move it around by hand, it's smooth. It starts and it stops the pan very, very smoothly. Why is it not doing that in flight? Why is it so, you know, stiff, so jerky while it's flying? I can move it around like super hard. I Let me show you a video, hold on. This is what I'm doing. I'm moving it very, very jerky, and you can't see that on the video, like barely. Of course, you see some wobbly, but.
so yeah I would like to know why that is so it's working fine in your hand but not while flying that doesn't make any sense at all so um, please DJI uh, can you tell us what this is about and how can we fix it thank you